Welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Today I thought it would be cool to kind of look at Fluke's visual infrared thermometer. This model is the VT04A and it works similar to uh, most of those uh, thermal imagers that we've seen on the market. Um, so let's go ahead and take this thing out of the package and look at some of its features and see how this tool can help us in our, our, our livelihood as technicians. You know, a lot of times airflow is one of the issues in which tends to get overlooked greatly in our industry, partly because a lot of people just haven't spent a lot of time with it and aren't really comfortable um, with the ins and outs of airflow. And then secondly, we don't necessarily have the tools to help us properly diagnose airflow issues. And so this particular tool could help in that area, um, thus increasing our ability to perform a better job for our, our customers. So let's unbox it. Take, it, take it out of the box and let's see what it looks like. This is always the fun stuff. It's like Christmas in February. So first of all, we get um, some instructions there and there's a different card for each language. So choose your poison. I'm gonna pick the one that I speak um, fluently, sometimes that's debatable or not, but yeah, I'm gonna pick the one that's in English because I can't read the rest of them. Get those out of the way. And then of course, uh, it comes in a nice, nice pouch, a nice fluke pouch. And then the tool is on the inside. So you've got the, the thermometer there, you've got a couple of packs of batteries, and uh, some SIM cards. So when you open the product up, that's what comes inside of it. On the back of the box, uh, you'll, if you'll notice here, it says that our temperature ranges are gonna be from 14 degrees to all the way up to 482 degrees. It says that it's accurate, plus or minus two, give or take. It's got that SIM card in there um, and some other, the hardened soft case. And then you can kind of see on the back uh, of the box some of the, the different industries in which this particular tool can be used for. So one of the cool things about this is as a technician, sometimes the tools that we look at on Toolbox Tuesday are very specific to HVAC. However, this particular tool, it says, can be used in the automotive applications, your industrial applications, and your electrical applications. So it's got some um, cross-trade uh, appeal to it. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna hook everything up Plug, every, plug all the, the, the SD cards in, take a look at some different temperatures. It also syncs with your phone and there's a, some downloadable apps that you can put to your phone as well so that that screen can be on your phone as well. So we'll hook all of that stuff up and then look at our imager and, and see what it looks like. All right, so we've got our Fluke um, visual thermometer here. We're gonna take our micro SD card. There's a little slot for it to go in. You're gonna put that in there, slide that in fit snug and you can easily take it out. You can grab it with your fingers and take it out. Now, when we have the image that we want, it's got this little trigger deal where we can capture that image. And it's it's comfortable in your hand. It's kind of got a, you know, feels like a, a, little, a little laser gun or something like that. But now if we just look at the screen, you notice at the top there, you've got your, your temperatures. Now that screen is kind of taking a big picture. Now as I move in closer to one of our red spots, you'll see that temperature number start to go up higher and higher. As I get closer, I'm zeroing in on that spot right there. As I get closer to it, you can see that number go up. Now, as we start to pull away, it gets a general temperature of the entire area and you'll see that our temperature number goes down. We'll walk around a little bit and look at some different things uh, just, just to kind of see how different structures will affect how this thing reads temperature for us. Now, after that, like I said, let's say I got it, I'm, I'm right here. I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm right there and I wanna, that's the image that I wanna have. I wanna keep that and save it. I click my little trigger. It stops everything right there. Then it asks me if I wanna save that to my SIM card. I go ahead and I select yes. Now that image is saved and I can go ahead and grab the next one. So let's walk around the building a little bit and take a look at some other stuff. All right, so we've got our thermal imager. We just came out in the hallway to these big windows out here so we can really see some different um, temperatures. So if you look up at the top, you can see the light fixture that's glowing bright orange. And then outside, um, it's, a little, it's a little cooler outside. Today in Dallas, it's probably right now 65 or so degrees. Um, and then you've got 
of the pavement outside or around the, where the trees are. You can see it's just a little bit warmer, showing a little bit more heat there. We've also got these three big vinyl posters, so that attracts and holds some heat for us. And so our Im imager will kind of show us how that looks. And again, if we see something that we want to take a picture of, we just squeeze our little trigger. It kind of freezes everything, shoots it for us, and then ask us if we want to save that to our SIM card. And of course, we'll save that one um, there. So there's your, there's your Fluke thermal imager, or your visual thermometer rather. Uh, pretty cool looking tool, very easy to, fits in your hand very well, easy to hold, easy to operate. Um, comes with some, some pretty cool how-tos um, inside of the manual and go from there. So that's a cool tool that you could pick up to kind of help with your diagnostic airflow issues and provide a better service to your customer. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday.